Hey guys, Fiddle Ferret here, and today I have for you my September manga haul and all the pickups I got for September. And there's a quick uh, little update before we start. I'm really sorry I haven't had too many videos up for you lately. I've been so busy, but I've really got some videos planned that I'm hoping to be able to um, record over the next few days and release over the next few weeks. And also, sorry if my voice sounds a little off. I'm kind of sick, but I really want to get this recorded so you guys can see it. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into the video. So, to start off the show, I think we'll go ahead and start with our 7 C's pickups for the month. And uh, some of my favorite pickups, quite frankly, as, as far as it goes. But the Ancient Magnus Bride Volume 2, uh, I believe this series is still like on the Amazon um, like top 10 manga right now. I believe it's on there with Monster Mizumi. So, 7 C's seems to really be doing well for itself. Um, this is one of the favorite ones I'm reading right now. It's really just kind of a beautiful story so far, um, with the art and all the, just, it's got a really interesting story to it, so I've really been liking uh, this one a lot, as a lot of other people have as well. And also we have Hagony Volume 12, which is just a really fun, just goofy series. Uh, that's real, I'm really getting excited about how far it's getting, because um, pretty soon we should be getting beyond the point where the uh, second season of the anime stopped. So that's something I'm just really looking forward to, uh, to getting a new story out of it. Then we have the ever adorable Nan Nan Biori, which is just full of mo chibi adorableness. So if that's your kind of thing, go ahead and pick that up too. Just another fun read. Um, not like a crazy amount of story to it, just something to kind of make you smile and just kind of uh, something that's kind of fun to read every once and then. And then we have Defrag Volume 6, another just absolutely ridiculous series. Uh, it's pretty goofy. Um, I enjoyed the anime quite a bit, and this is, uh, I believe this is the first volume beyond the anime. So if you like the anime and you want to continue with the story, I definitely recommend getting this volume. Um, moving swiftly on, we'll go ahead and get right into our Kodansha um, picks, for the, picks for the month. And we... Uh, this is a series I hadn't heard about coming out, which surprised me. I kind of went to the bookstore and saw it one day. I was like, huh, I wonder what that is. So this is Ninja Slayer Kills. It's like this cyberpunk, like, old-time style. Like, it, it has this combination of, like, old and new ninja stuff and... It was really interesting. I'm not going to lie. I really wasn't sure how well I was going to like it or how good it was going to be. I ended up enjoying it a ton. The art style is uh, really interesting and violent. And who doesn't want a little violence every now and then? So yeah, Ninja Slayer Kills. Uh, really interesting uh, if you want something that uh, something new and different to kind of, uh, to kind of read uh, every now and then. And then we have another series I've really been enjoying for a while. We have um, Yamanakun and the Seven Witches. Uh, the story seems to be moving along swiftly. I really like where it's going. Uh, I like the introduction of new witches and all that kind of stuff. Um, this is just a series. The first couple of volumes I read, I wasn't sure. But the farther I get along, the more I like it. And the more I just can't wait for the next volume. Oh, my throat is killing me, guys. And then we have one of my all-time favorite series that's on coming out right now, and it's a silent voice. And absolutely, completely have to recommend you all go pick this series up right now. It's going to be a short series. Uh, it's a really touching story. Um, gives a really cool glimpse into bullies and bully culture and uh, dealing with disabilities and stuff like that. So I really recommend you all go pick this up because this is just uh, this is volume three. Um, I just can't stress enough how, how much I am enjoying this series. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to our Yen Press, uh, who has a rather big pile this week. Uh, we have Chaika and the Princess Coffin, which uh, is another series that I really had no information about. Uh, this is Volume 2. I really liked Volume 1, obviously enough to get Volume 2. Uh, and I just found it really interesting. Uh, the art style is good. Although, I've seen like bits of the anime, and Chaika looks so weird in the anime. She looks so much better in the manga. In the anime, her eyebrows are just... Her eyebrows are real. <laughs> uh, here we have a series I haven't had the chance to read yet, unfortunately. Well, it's called Black Bullet. Uh, like I said, I haven't had a chance to read it yet, so I'm looking forward to it. I don't really have much other to say about it other than uh, it looks good. It looks good, and I can't wait to get, uh, get to reading it. Everyone's favorite sword art online, uh, more following the story of Asuna, which I found really interesting. This story got into a little bit more of of the backstory of, of Kirito and Asuna, which you didn't get in the anime basically at all. It's just like, that's skipped till we're like 70 levels later, and for some reason we hate each other. So this is a bit more of that backstory, which uh, I thought was really lacking, and is a really important piece to anyone who likes the sword art online franchise. 
And now we have a few volumes. They're oldies, but a goodies. Um, I have. <laughs> let's see if I remember how to say this. It's Sumo Momo Momo Momo. I believe is how you say it, but I could be wrong. But um, this is a series I read a long time ago, and I never finished it. I never got the last three volumes. I don't know why. And the problem is, I'm gonna have to go back and reread the whole series because this is the complete series up through volume 12. Um, I can't really remember it. It was ridiculous. I remember that much, but it was funny. Um, and so this is kind of a, just a shout out to an old series. I can't wait to finish this. I'm going to have to find some time to kind of go back and um, and kind of re-up my, my knowledge of the series because it's really lacking, actually, because I can't really remember what was happening. So I'll have to go back and, uh, and start that over, probably. And here's another series, which is probably just one of my favorites right now. Um, it's called Love at 14. Uh, it's a really sweet series um, about two kids that are, you know, they, th they think they're mature, but they're kind of going through that moment, you know, in, in their life and uh, crushing on each other, wicked had. And so there's also some other relationships going on that all seem to kind of intertwine. And uh, it's just really sweet. And uh, it's just a series that the art is really nice and it's nothing crazy but something about the story just really resonates with me so it's a series I've really been um, really been enjoying. Alright, on to the Viz pile. We have everybody's favorite One Punch Man. You, you guys don't understand how happy I was when I found out the Viz was going to release his imprint and they released the first two volumes nonetheless. I don't I don't know if I can say I've ever known a company to do that, to release, like, we have the first two volumes ready, let's just release them. So that was really cool. And it lived up to the hype, in my opinion. I love One Punch Man. It's just silly and ridiculous, and if you read My Hero uh, Academia, um, you would love this as well. So I really can't stress um, how much I like this. And also, I'm thinking about cosplaying as, uh, as Mr. One Punch himself, so uh, I'm looking forward to that someday. Nobody else is, but I am. <laughs> so here we have Sarah from the End, Volume 6. Um, I'm still enjoying this series quite a bit. It's your typical kind of shonen battle friendship, yeah, manga. Um, it's nothing groundbreaking. Um, I've heard several people like voice their dislike for this series. Um, I am not one of those people. I like it quite a bit. I think the um, the backstory is interesting enough. It is very typical shonen. Like it is pretty much straight shooter right down the middle. But I like shonen, so I like it. What can I say? So I have been enjoying it, and so yeah, it's just a good shonen in my opinion. <clears throat> Here we have Nisekoi Volume 11. The story is progressing slowly, but um. I think, we're, I think we're getting somewhere with it. It's just been a really nice series uh, with all the girls. Uh, You've kind of getting like a bit of mystery thrown in here now. Uh, some people seem to know more than they're letting on, so I can't wait to um, see what happens and comes out in the next volume. And as you can see here, and now that I'm realizing when I pull this out, I don't actually know how to say this because I didn't actually look at it beforehand. What is that? Is that Tenjo Genji? I think those are J's. Are those T's? Or is it Tenjo Tenji? I have no idea. I feel like a bit of an idiot right now. But I feel like that all the time, so it's fine. So anyway, um, I got these, uh, I got several of them. I got volumes one and volumes three, because I'm missing volume two. So three, four, whoop, and five. Gosh, the cover on this one's just badass. And so yeah, I got those. Um, Basically, I just got these at, um, at an old thrift store, and I'd like to uh, read them, so I was like, ah, I'll get them for now, and then I'll just buy the rest of them new um, if I get the chance to, and if, if I like them. And so I'm going to fill in volume two, so probably after I read volume one, I will definitely be doing that. Um, here we go. Here's our loan title from um, Vertical Comics uh, this month. We have Card Fight Vanguard, volume one, uh, which should be an interesting series. Uh, I'm, I might even um, give this to my friend because uh, he, he's like on a Yu-Gi-Oh kick right now. He's reliving his childhood. And so I was like, you would probably like this. Uh, also, here's another one I missed from Kodansha. I forgot that this was um, Kodansha. But I also picked this one up. This uh, Akira. Uh, I'd like to pick these up. It's kind of just an oldie but a goodie. I'm not in really a hurry to pick these up. But I saw one volume in the store. It's like, ah, oh, volume one. I'll grab it while I'm here and I have the chance. So I can slowly start collecting these over time because this is a series I think everyone needs to have in their collection. And for the last two. Oh, I got a burp. 
the last two pieces that aren't really manga, but I thought I'd include them anyway. I got the Scott Pilgrim, um, the two hardcovers, and they're in full color. Um, I've never read them, but uh, I kind of felt, I just kind of felt like reading them. Um, you know, it just seemed like something that, something that needed to be done. <laughs> That's not really a good uh, good recommendation for a series. There's something that needed to be done. I really don't know much about them, is really all I can say. I never saw any of the movies or anything like that. So, But I thought the hardcover, I love hardcovers and I love color editions, so it was kind of the perfect storm. And so I decided to pick up the first couple of volumes. Well, all right then, guys. I think that'll just about do it for this past month. Uh, I really want to thank you for joining me on this video. Uh, go ahead and tell me in the comments what volumes you picked up uh, or what volumes uh, maybe you think I should get next time. And go ahead and leave that like button. If you like this video and would like to see more videos from me, it would mean a lot to me to hit that like button and just would get my videos out to a bigger audience. So look forward, guys, to my channel. Um, I really hope to have some stuff for you soon. I have an awesome new um, collector's edition for a new collector edition from Sentai Filmworks as a little bit of a hint for you. I have like at least two or three Nandroids I like to unbox and several uh, manga for oh excuse me manga first takes I want to do from this pile. So anyway guys I have been Fiddle Sarah and I will see you back on the prowl next time. Bye bye